Hello, Cosmic Setting. We are here for some new moon goal setting. If you are a life coaching student of mine, please grab your Ascension Planner. And then if you have your Cosmic Chakra Guidebook, grab that as well. Or if you don't have this, grab your natal charts because that is what we will need for some goal setting. If you don't have either of those and you're just hanging out, that is awesome because we can bounce off our vibrations. So if you want to learn about the new moon, please check out my intro to Cosmic Energy podcast at Being Cosmic Chaos because that will give you an insight of why following the lunar cycles is so important to creating goals. Now for my beautiful cosmic beings, let's open up our life coaching ascension plan. So you do have a beautiful moon calendar for 2024. If you are planning on purchasing a, ca a life coaching planner, I have winter available right now because I am out of the autumn planners. Thank you so much for everyone supporting our Ascension plan by purchasing a planner to work on yourself. That is seriously a huge goal is to keep track of what's happening. Now, the first page you'll recognize after we go through the lunar and solar calendar is the celestial courage. So it looks like this. We're tapping into divine time because the nine, the ninth month taps into the ninth dimension and the ninth dimension connects with the aspect that you are a divine being and you have the ability to work with divine timing. And what is more important then goals is recognizing that you have time to set your goals and you have the ability to work with time as a tool, not a restriction. So working with divine time, you'll have this wheel. This is your habit tracker for the season. And when I say for the season, I mean for the sun cycle. So right now, Underneath, it shows August 23rd to September 22nd, sun is in Leo. So if you have Leo placements, you're going to want to check to see if you have any Leo placements because that's going to help you direct where your solar plexus is being supported. And that's this section. So I would use this section to write down. Um, I'm recognizing the darker ones. You might need a white pen. But um, writing down your Leo placements. And then it's going to support your solar plexus. So my solar plexus supports. And it shows what chakras and what's happening. If you don't have Leo placements, that is quite all right. Just working with the concepts of your solar plexus. So I will go into your cosmic chakra guidebook and I'm going to go to the sun placement because that's what we're doing while we create physical goals for celestial courage. So let's see here. Sun is page 15, cosmic solar plexus. All right, I'm on page 15. This is what it looks like. And then below, you would put what your physical sign is and what your emotional sign is, depending on your Western or Eastern chart, because you have two sun signs. Technically three if we include the Chinese chart, which is included in here. But for the sake of working with our cosmic solar plexus, we're just looking at two charts. Now, the cosmic solar plexus templars, chakras, are all meant to support your spirit in experiencing a physical life. How are you experiencing a physical life within your reality and dimensions confidently? 
So how do you want your solar plexus to support confidence in your life. Let's put a big question mark. How do you want your solar plexus to support confidence in your life? This is what your physical habits should contain. So in these spaces you would write down and I I believe I made room for one, two, three, four, five different habits, daily habits to keep track of while you receive a confidence boost physically. And then if you have any Libra placements, my solar plexus is confident. So we have support and confidence happening at the same time with these solar transmutations. Now from August 23rd, which we're past that, until September 22nd, so it is the third, so we have what? 21 days. So 21 days, we continue to have energy and vibrations to move into certain aspects to support Confidence. So what do you want to be physically confident in that you aren't? So I would take notes. And your affirmation, you can find right here. And then take notes. You can write maybe what habits are difficult, what habits come easy. Um, what, how do you feel while you're tracking these physical habits? that support Leo and Libra placements. And if you don't have either placement, how are you supporting and allowing an installation of your solar plexus? Because that's what the sun is for. Throughout our entire life, our heart chakra and our solar plexus receive energy constantly. And that's where we get to balance it out. So the sun is always in a certain position for supporting confidence within our lives. And the moon is always in a certain position for balancing out energy, which I'll get to that in a moment. But for right now, celestial courage. The affirmation is divine time balances my pride. So how can you balance your pride within your life? And I would say that affirmation... He, Frequently, or at least daily, while you're working with these physical habits. So tonight, create some physical habits that support Leo placements. And as we get down towards September 23rd, towards the end of the month, Libra placements. And I guarantee you will feel the energetic shift of what is feeling supported and what feels confident and recognize maybe some of your physical habits that you are tracking here maybe they are easier during the leo season maybe some become easy when we shift into that libra season so that's something to take note of so now that we have the Celestial Courage page. Now here's our galactic goals. September 3rd, new moon in Virgo. It is a new moon and it's in Virgo. It is time to, of course, check. I'm going to erase this. It is time to check your Virgo placements. And actually, I'm going to rewind. Pardon me. I'm moving rather fast for myself. Rewind, so Sun is in Leo. While the Sun is in Leo, from August 23rd to September 22nd, let's see what technique we can do. So it is provided for different techniques. So I'm going to look in the fire. 
So, good thing this placement is considered domicile and sun. At home with spirit. So, it's very homey. It feels very at home. This is a very good thing. Your spiritual body is comfortable. Meditate with the reasoning mind. What is the spiritual reason for mortality? Woo-hoo-hoo. When you make your physical goals, at least two or three of them, have an answer. So what is your spiritual reason for mortality. What is your spiritual reason for mortality? Because this will access a vibration to help assist your solar plexus. So I'd also say grab some of your solar plexus crystals. Grab anything that you connect with solar plexus. Solar plexus is colors of yellow. But get into that meditative state of mind. So the three S's, if you know what I'm talking about. And begin thinking, what is my spiritual reason for mortality? And I'll let that be a guide to the habits you want. Because we're pushing towards an immortal lifestyle. We're pushing towards an ascension, not a descension. But in order to get a better grasp of that, we need to spiritually know why we even partake in mortality right next as we shift this is kind of later on we shift with the sun in libra so that is an air element this placement is considered at fall in the sun. So thoughts lack self-esteem. So this shows me that I should have some physical habits that support my self-esteem physically since the sun is moving into a sign that it is at fall under. So chanting the mantra Ram and affirm you do enough. So having an affirmation that you say, this can even be a part of your habits. You can have in your habits that you chant daily rum, that you affirm you do enough, or I do enough, pardon me. I do enough. Because we are solving the issue or the energy that the sun doesn't collide with Libra nicely, and you may have a mindful body that thinks that there's not enough self-esteem to go around. And that's not true. And we can counteract that energy by chanting rum and affirming the affirmation, I do enough. If you are an incense or a person that loves uh, aromatherapy, utilizing frankincense, as long as you know you're not allergic to it. Ooh, frankincense. It kind of got jumbled at the end. <laughs> Utilizing that, and that is a physical practice. You're activating your sensory abilities. You're activating that when I smell frankincense, I know that I'm enough. So these are ways to incorporate into your physical habits of how to work with the sun and your solar plexus. Now we're ready to move on to galactic goals. All right. So we know the moon is in Virgo.
So the moon is in Virgo. I'm going to check out where the moon page is. I believe it's right after the sun. Yes, so it's page 17. This is what it looks like. And I'll read a little bit about the cosmic equalizing heart chakras. The cosmic equalizing Templars chakras are all meant to balance your energy while experiencing a physical life. What energies do you experience emotionally within your reality and dimensions? So, what energies do you experience emotionally? What energies do you experience emotionally? And specifically, if you have Virgo placements. So check Virgo placements. Because this is showing where new energy and new goals want to come into your life. A little heart there. Now, we're going to check out the techniques for Virgo. And that's an earth element. Virgo. This placement is considered neutral in the moon. That's awesome news. Install your 2D auric system to determine emotions that are yours and deter emotions that are not yours. So, I'm actually going to, let's see, erase this. Now, continue the moon in Virgo. Install your 2D auric system. You already have your second dimensional auric system installed. Over time, your aura can deteriorate. It can become uh, patchy. It can have holes in it. It can have other people's energy. So making sure that it is reinstalled correctly is very important. And actually, I'm going to grab a page from my ABCs of Dimensions to explain better your 2D or your auric system. Because your auric system is a second dimension that it isn't a specific chakra system like your 3D chakras, but it is a system necessary of the chakras. So this is actually a book in the making. It will be readily available for you. At the time being, I have a few orders lined up for when it is published. They get it first hand. Very exciting. So the second dimension, this dimension is width. Creating the auric field around your body based off of the first dimension. Understanding your aura can show how your chakras and the planet you are on interact. So, how your chakras and the planet interact is so important. That's what your 2D aura is really for. Balancing your inner soul self by creating a boundary with what is your soul and what is not your soul on this planet. And that's what the moon in Virgo is providing energy to balance out. It's balancing out emotion, energy and motion, that what is yours and what is not yours. A crystal that can assist you is green kyanite. Kyanite is known for its ability to cleanse and purify. Uh, typically, people know a lot about blue kyanite. Green kyanite is specifically for cleansing and clearing your heart, and that inadvertently helps cleanse and clear your aura. So back to that aura, being energetically separate from the universe can make you feel alone. 
So practicing reinstalling your second dimension system, at first you might feel a sense of like, whoa, am I alone? Am I just doing this myself? But then you'll recognize that certain people, places, environments that were attacking your aura are out. So now things that you thought you weren't able to do alone, you're able to do now and you're able to refine it because no one is in your energy siphoning your energy or tearing apart boundaries. So Green Kaina is placing purification and respect for how you handle your own emotions. And this dimension is to practice on trusting the way you build this life with gratitude. So it is bringing a sense of, you know what, I chose to interact with my beautiful planet this way. I'm going to honor that by creating a new goal and making boundaries that support that new goal. So now, what are your goals this cycle? And this is a little bit um, less physical goals and that's why I want you to do your C celestial courage habit tracker to get the physical things out of the way because yes that is one of the first things our conscious mind gravitates towards okay what are my physical goals now that you see what your physical goals are we can see what your energetic goals are what are your mindful goals what are your energetic goals so my goals this cycle are and base it off of your Virgo placements. Base it off of how you are either reinstalling or how do you interact with our planet through your chakras. And you can even do a beautiful meditation with green kyanite. Now, an affirmation for this entire lunar cycle is, when I take the time, every experience is divine. Because it's true. When you take time for anything like time with the planet like time with your aura like time discerning this is my energy and that's your energy like time to figure out oh I have chakras and I am relating to Virgo energy when you take that time you are allowing what you know to become wisdom and an experience. So allow that time, allow that wisdom, allow that experience to come to fruition this cycle. Thank you so, so much. This is our galactic goals, our new moon in Virgo, and how to set up your celestial courage tracker. I am so excited. If you are one of my students, please reach out if you need further assistance so you can book a cosmic care session for setting your celestial courage goals and your galactic goals. I love you guys. I am Evren Ryu. I am so blessed to be here with you all. Namaste. Blessed. Please, if you are interested the Your Cosmic Chakra guidebooks are available on the website and the beautiful life coaching planners that contain all of your material for working with me as your galactic shaman life coach. This is available for winter until November 2024. Thank you.